My name is Ismael. My Lama. name is Alex Lopez. My name is Juan Antonio Vasquez. My name is Idania Gonzalez. The P word shouldn't be used because it was meant to put down the wom the woman, and for it can make us men look superior over them. And I think the word puta, in my opinion, means that they're calling a uh, a woman a hoe that sleeps around with a lot of men, and it's sexist and it offends many women. I think we should use the word puta because it brings the women down and like it could change their lives and maybe they could like suicide themselves. I claim that we should not say the P word because the P word, such as puta, is something that is really strong and it could affect women and making them in the less sex. Um, the puta word came from a Greek goddess name and where we we should, it has like really kind of like the history behind it where it has to do with sex so I know where it comes from the meaning and eventually I, I think society has used it to say that we, should, we do not belong in society as women and that we should be less for men to be equal. It means a lot of things to me. It could be like either for a gay guy that gets offended or like a bad word in general. Or not only for it being gay, but it could be a use for like prostitution. Puta has a lot of meanings to people that misunderstand and they misinterpret that they like take offensively and when, if they called me that I would think like either or like what are you trying to mean am I a whole am I a prostitute or is it referring to me like if I'm gay ¿Qué significa la palabra puta para ti? Pues una palabra vulgar. ¿Qué es eso? Pues una palabra que no, que no se debe de usar. ¿Por qué no? Porque la gente se ofende porque es una palabra muy fuerte. Ah. Mm. Si alguien te llamara puta, ¿cómo te ibas a sentir? Mal. ¿Por qué? Porque es, por sí, porque sí. ¿Por qué? Pues porque no soy. Okay. ¿Y qué significa la palabra para ti? Pues te digo una, una palabra, pues, una mujer cualquiera. So, ¿Tú crees que no a nadie, la puede, nadie la debe que usar? No, no. no. La palabra puta es alguien que siempre anda con hombres o siempre anda haciendo cosas que no deben, como sexo o algo así. Es, 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 eso significa puta. Yo quiero you sobre la palabra P. Y quería saber cuándo fue la primera vez que lo escuchaste. Uh, probablemente lo escuché cuando estaba Like my uncles would probably say it a lot, or like my my older cousins would say it a lot as well. You think the society uses that word to make girls feel even less than what? I think it definitely has a negative connotation to the word, and I think some people take advantage of that and just use it. Thing. So. You think we should say it? Does uh, everyone say it, or it depends on the age or the circumstances we are in? I don't think it's ever, it's ever, it should ever be justified. I mean, it's not a good, it doesn't have a good term to it. Alright, thanks. Hey, Israel. So, Hi. I wanted to tell you, we'll ask you, when did you realize what the word or the meaning of the word puta? I would have to say kindergarten. Um, my friend accidentally told the teacher, and well, the teacher explained to us what it meant and never to use a word, but we still used it, even though the teacher I'm told us not though. to say it. I'm not done though, I burned it. Alright, um, what does it mean to you when you call a girl that? Mm, <laughs> oh. Uh, you the, think, oh sorry. No, that's okay. Um, bitch. And... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Why is it so simple? You think that society uses that word to make girls feel even lesser than what they are? Um, well, society or people? Like well, individuals? Like as if everyone. Um, I would have to say not necessarily, but because some people they do it by joking around. 
for example, I know me and my friends, we call, we call each other that sometimes. Like, whenever someone's acting stupid, so we, we, we call them that word, and then... Um, uh, I know other people, other people do mean it, but that's only, like, when you have, when you're trying to release, um, I guess, anger. So you do agree we should say it, uh, as in everyone. Or do you have, like, I a don't, specific age and where we should say it? Uh, age, age. I would have to say age because uh, I hear I hear little kids saying it and they don't even know what it means. So why would you say something that you don't know what it means? All right, then thank you. Hello, Jonathan. I'm here to interview you about the P word, and I wanted to ask you what does it mean for you, and what was the first time you heard about it? What P word? Buta. What do I think about it? Yeah, what do you think about it? And when was the first time you heard it? I don't really think about it much because I mean I don't use it but the first time I heard it was when I think my friend called me yet and I didn't know what it meant so at what age I was like a sixth grader so I mean I didn't we had a special bond so I didn't really take it in, as in an offensive way and now I know it means like prostitute or slut but back then you know I was just Fun and games, so I don't know what it meant, and and we had a special bond. So I mean, I didn't really take it as a offensive way. Um, um, you think that society uses that word to make women or um, the female gender look less, or that we are not enough, as in equal to men? No, I think they use it as a. They don't really think about the definition. They just say it because they want to say it or because other people are saying it, but they don't really, they don't really think about the society's way of the word. When do you think we should be able to say it? Or do you have like a certain age we, we should say it? Uh, well, you should be like a seventh grader or older to say it. And I mean, it's all right to say it, but it depends who you're with and where you are. Because if you're with your friends, then yeah, you can call each other anything you want. But if you're like in a professional place, like in class, you can't be saying things like that. All right, thank you, John. We have interviewed many people and have came with the same result and where society has taught us that we should use this word as vernacular language without knowing the real definition. Go. We should not say the P word unless we know the real meaning behind it. We know that it could create a safe environment but we think that if it's said intentionally, it could hurt someone or damage someone in a matter of seconds.